Yo, everybody. It's a bull of brawl. It's a Thursday. Fidia Master Evan Zhu, the legend himself. The, one of the most popular chess.com players. And somehow we are playing actually 1-1, one, one, which I did not realize. One minute with a one second increment. It's a little bit different than the sudden death. Maybe that means we'll have a little bit higher quality chess. As you can see, I kind of like this all of a sudden. kind of like that I'm not down on time given the, the setting of this bullet brawl. It's not the crazy, manic, high-speed, functioning machine that runs off the tracks and all of us, you know, it's like watching a car wreck every Thursday when you come see Danny Wrench and you're like, yeah, let's see what he does today. Can't wait. Can't wait till that train runs off the tracks and Danny finally goes crazy again. So the 1-1 allows for a little bit of a higher quality experience, which I'm kind of into given my recent struggles a little bit with with time against some stronger opponents when you're trying to provide commentary. So no excuses, just results here on chess.com. That's what we do. That's what we do here on chess.com. But uh, that said, I'm not going to pretend that it isn't a little bit hard sometimes to lose games that you don't want to. And maybe I could have just played C5 there. I do have a little bit of time. I guess I should slow down just a tick, huh? Slow down just a tick and consider... Some other moves. So, uh, let's see here. He plays there. I guess I'll go ahead and take. Oh, no, but he's going to play c4. So this is the issue. This is the real issue. So I need to probably just move my king, actually. So when he plays c4, I can play knight f6. That's why we love a little more time, right? We're thinking. We're thinking a little bit more. Um, I can give queen e3 check, and then when everybody gets traded, it's a big party, but I think knight e3 is even better. Attacking all the queens and the knight. So I can, if I can get away with this expansion, I'm probably happy. Even if he unpins. Not a, not a totally happy camper is white here. Down a pawn, and, um going to struggle in this endgame for sure, especially considering that I'm not under time pressure, as you might normally expect this far advanced in a game. Should be a pretty easy win with increment, to be honest. This is the experience we've all been waiting for. You know how sometimes fate just deals you a bone, throws you a bone? Fate deals you a bone. <laughs> that sounds like something from like a dog memoirs, right? Sometimes fate throws you a bone. Um... No, but seriously, at this point, I feel like maybe a uh, one minute with one second increment bullet brawl experience might be just what the kids need. Just what the doctor ordered. Let's run that thing back and do it again. Bullet brawl ta time, baby. Bullet brawl action, Captain. We have a French Aruski. Mr. Zhu's bread and butter, his favorito, as they say, the new tasty snack you can enjoy with Doritos, your favorito. Buy some today at your local Walmart. You know what? Forget about Walmart. Does anybody even like Walmart? I mean, seriously. It's like, come on, when was the last time they did anything for anybody else? Right? I mean, this isn't, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, be down with corporate America or anything. That's not where I'm at right now. I'm just saying. You know, I'm just pointing out the truth, which is that it hasn't always been a pleasant experience for some people. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Just making moves. Just making moves, doing work, blundering games. That's me. Don't worry about it. That's what I'm doing right now. Just blundering away my life. And now it really has gotten ugly with this last little experience of blundering the rook. I, I didn't blunder this one, though. Gave it up. So, so much for the higher quality chess. I feel like I needed to slow down a little bit, actually. Needed to slow down just a tad. Yeah, that's uh, that's checkmate, everybody. Checkmate and Mr. Evans, you helped. Shake and bake, and I helped. Well, let's see what we can do the second time around in this Chichillion a little bit more time. Get castled. We're going to repeat, rinse and repeat. Just like shampoo, put it on your scalp. Make sure you use conditioner. Well, now he's he's going for the shake and bake. He's going for the Yugoslav attack. None of this H3 business that he 
went with last time, which is fine by me. I'm no stranger to the Yugoslav attack. In other words, not my first rodeo. He's going to give check and I'll back up. This is all, all regular stuff. We've been here before. It's a broken record. This is all theory. He may or may not know it, but it's all theory. And uh, now he has a little bit of trouble dealing with the queen side. This is kind of what happens in this main line of the Chinese dragon as white gets the first initiative, but by forcing defensive moves, black sort of keeps up and uh, eventually is left with a pretty good situation. And that's exactly what we've experienced right here. We'll push the knight out. And uh, then we will we'll go and attack. My guess is we'll just go and attack b2 here. Oh, that's interesting. Whoa, what's going on here? Did he forget that I have this check? He wants to sack on g6 and just win everything. So that's probably not the best idea for him. That's a little bit of a shake and bake checkmate. Best of three going to international master Danny Wrench. Hey, that's me. And I just referred to myself in the third person. Well, not that just a kick and a hoot and a holler? Isn't that just a hoot and a holler? Look at Danny being so adorable, referring to himself in the third person. Yep. All right, let's mix it up. Let's get away from his little French and uh, see how he handles himself downtown. The big boys. Random theory, but here we are playing the G3 Kings Indian. One of my personal faves. Solid, flexible. You can use it a hundred times and it won't wear out. That sounded like an infomercial, didn't it? <laughs> it's solid, flexible. You can use it a hundred times and it won't wear out. Um, really. Really, really, really. Wow. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers in the trousers. I'm not really sure what's going on with all this. Okay, if I play knight f4, he can take on e5, so I don't want to do that. We want to play this way. Aha. But then he goes this way. I guess he can get away with all of it, can't he? We'll go here. We'll back up, but I guess he's just going to take on c4, and somehow, somehow, some way, he worked his way out of that successfully, did he not? Indeed, he did. Credit to Mr. Evan Zhu. But I'm going to rook lift. I'm going to put the pony on e4. I'm going to attack on f6. And I'm going to bring the rook to d1. Play g4. Here we go. This is where it gets crazy, kids. This is how you flip the script on somebody. I would love to just take and blow open his king side. Why can't I just do that? I mean, I probably can't, but I'm going to do it anyway. Fully aware that I'm probably not delivering the goods here. And when I say probably, I'm definitely not, but it is bullet. Okay. We'll attack everything again. Uh, we'll take here, I guess. But not looking super fun for me right now. Oops. Okay, he didn't see it. Oh, I would have loved to have just given check there. Ah, silly me, blundered away. An accidento. An accidento, not related to your new favorite snack, favoritos. Yeah, not good for me. Looks like this thing's going to a best of five and not the fun kind. 
Not the kind where I've already won. It's over. That was ugly. Felt good and it got ugly. Oops, no. No, no, no. Do not do that. A close Sicilian, he says. Increment is fun. I feel like this is a much better experience overall. I would love to hear feedback. Please leave feedback here in the YouTube comment section. And let me know what you guys think of this particular Bullet Brawl experience today. I think it's fun. I really, really do. And i uh, not really thrilled with what's going on in my position right now. But, but I guess where the beat goes on. This is a horrible position for me. And I'm probably going to lose this best of five. My king is trapped in the center. And with it comes brilliant attacking chances from my opponent. I'm going to play this. No, I can't play this weird move. Put the knight on d4. Hmm. Yeah, that looks that looks like definitely an idea for him right there. Have to come up. Have to block. Aha. This is the best for him for sure. Good move. Have to get the king out. Have to get the king some left. But now the 1-1 one, one is killing me, now that I'm playing terrible chess, because he's definitely got the time to figure this thing out. So yeah, that extra time is helping him right now. Despite my, I would say, resourceful defensive maneuvers. Despite those things. Um, push. I can back up, but he's going to take on e6 if I'm not careful. Okay, I can offer a queen trade. I guess so. I guess I'm going to do it. And try to defend. The current defensive situation is strange. I have a little bit of time, so I guess I should think about my moves. If I'm smart about it, I'll play here and move up. I was hoping I would have something randy. I don't know what that exactly is. Hmm. I guess I'm going to check and hope to take advantage of this king on the second rank. Shouldn't be fun for him, but I don't know that I have anything super solid either. But now that's definitely a mistake. And that's a, that's a shake and bake. And somehow I win this best of five. You're welcome for another Bullet Brawl on this 1-1 Bullet Brawl Thursday. Please let me know how you feel about this experience and whether or not this is something you'd like to see more of, because I care about you and your opinion. Follow me on Twitter, follow us at chess.com, and be a part of something bigger than yourself. Every day we are all connected. It's quantum physics, all right? It's science. Look it up.